day around the world, hundreds of airlines compete for the hearts, minds and most importantly, wallets of millions of passengers. Seems the era of cheap flights has only just taken off, but already is under threat. Skyrocketing fuel prices and greenhouse gas controls mean airlines must rein in costs and increase fuel efficiency. That's why Airbus have developed the A380. It's larger, quieter and has less emissions than the jumbo and is cheaper to run per passenger. While Airbus have gone for big, their main competitor, Boeing, have surprised the industry by going for a smaller plane that will fly longer distances. This is a piece of the Boeing 787, or Dreamliner. It's due to take to the skies in 2008. This is just a sneak preview. When finished, its design will make it the most fuel-efficient airliner of its size in history. And developments in cabin pressure control will ensure greater in-flight comfort than any of us have ever experienced before. But with only a couple of years till takeoff, Boeing still has a lot of work to do. Their small is best strategy is based on research which says passengers will want to go to more varied destinations, not just the big hubs which the A380 will be restricted to. According to Boeing's Deb Lim, the fundamental difference for Boeing's plan to rule the skies is based on its fuselage. So it's made of carbon fibers reinforced with a resin, super strong, super lightweight. So the way we manufacture this big barrel is we have composite tape that's pliable that we lay down on a mandrel or tool. We lay it down in the way we want, in the thicknesses we want. We then put a big bag on and vacuum seal it. We squeeze it with another tool and we put it in an autoclave and we bake it. And that's what transforms this soft composite, which is carbon fiber with a resin, to this hard, strong structure that you see. The carbon fibre construction means minimal corrosion and metal fatigue. That has a direct impact on what goes inside the plane. And it's on the inside where the real battleground for your hard-earned travel dollar will occur. Last year, we showed you how Airbus are hoping luxury will be the reason people fly their giant. More space means the airlines can offer more exclusive features, like increased legroom, bars, shops, lounges. Boeing have gambled on a different strategy. They reckon passenger comfort is the key to attracting long-haul travellers. So they're planning to kill jet lag once and for all. The cabin altitude when we fly in all other airplanes is about that you'd see at 8,000 feet. Uh, this airplane, we're able to lower that altitude to 6,000 feet. Aircraft designer Alan Anderson reckons you'll feel better flying in a 787. In order to lower the cabin pressure, you increase the pressure inside the airplane. The composite structure isn't subject to fatigue or corrosion, so it's able to withstand higher pressures within the cabin to do that. For the same reason, the moisture inside the cabin can be much higher. So, in theory, passengers are less likely to experience dehydration. So we're able to raise the humidity in the airplane, which is normally very dry at altitudes from 5 or 10 percent to 15 or 20 percent. No more feeling claustrophobic. The cabin ceiling is almost a foot higher than other planes in this class, so it feels spacious. And the windows are really electrified liquid crystals. The windows on a 787 are 65% bigger than Boeing's competitors. What's more, they have electronic shades. So now you can control just how much light comes through. At the moment, they're at 50%. But, with the touch of a button, I can cut out 99.9% .9 of the light. When it goes into service, the 787 will fly at about 900 kilometres, or 560 miles per hour with a range of nearly 16,000 kilometres. That's the equivalent of flying from Brisbane to New York non-stop. Boeing has so much confidence in their optimised structural designs and super efficient production process that they predict all advanced airplanes will be built this way from now on. What's more, 
They're also predicting that by 2023, about 20 billion people will have flown on a Boeing 787. That's a lot of frequent flyer points.